Here we want to do a review over the different type of structural standing seam roof panels that you can use to do a recover. You always want to use a structural standing seam panel when you're doing recover on open purlin, so that eliminates no snap panels, no architectural panels. It needs to be a structural standing seam panel that is designed to go on open purlins. So we got three basic types here. We've got your trapezoidal standing seam. This is going to be your most common. 24 inch wide, three inches tall. This thing's designed to go on open purlins, designed to go on slopes down to a quarter on 12. Uh, you always want to get, if you're going to use this type of system, you want to use a double lock seam. Um, uh, these things are great on uh, certain types of applications. Uh, uh, you definitely want to have a straight ridge or head wall condition and a straight eave. No angular cuts on this seam because it makes it very difficult to make it watertight. Um, uh, and then the panel length is real important. They, they will ship this thing to you from the factory, but there's a certain length to which you end up getting a uh, panel with inlaps in it. And so I don't know how many millions of square feet of trapezoidal standing seam that I've recovered. And it was recovered only because the inlaps were spewing water into the building and there was no way to get them to stop. Because once an inlap starts leaking, it's like impossible to fix it. So, um, so that's really the biggest downside of these. This, I, I've never re-roofed one of these that the roof wore out. It's always because the inlaps were leaking or because the curbs were leaking. So um, the other type of roof system that you're gonna see uh, that this structural standing seam is gonna be a two inch tall vertical rib panel. Uh, and this is gonna have a double lock seam on it just like this panel will. And so, um, so these are, these are gonna be used more for applications where you've got hips and valleys, uh, uh, where you can, you know, you got something to make a piece of trim out of on steeper slopes. This has got like a half inch on slope minimum, half inch 12 minimum slope. Uh, and they, and the same, it, both these panels have clips that are two piece, so they're only gonna move so much. And they both have this double lock seam, which makes it watertight and gives them really good wind uplift but it makes it impossible or very, very difficult to make a repair at a later date. So now we've got Galvalume projected to go at 60 plus years, and the idea of having a roof that's impossible to fix is just absolutely ridiculous in my mind. And so about 10 years ago, I totally flipped my whole concentration to a symmetrical panel because I think you're doing a disservice to an owner when you sell him something he can't ever fix, okay? So, um, a symmetrical panel is a two-piece panel. It's got a T-shape, as you can see, and it's got a cap and a panel. So these panels are symmetrical. It means that they can be installed in either direction, which gives the installer a lot more flexibility when he's putting the roof on. He can start in the middle, work his way out. He can skip holes. He can start wherever he wants to. And you know, it's, it, it just gives him a lot more flexibility. And instead of a two-piece floating clip, these clip, these panels have a fixed clip. And the clip moves on a fixed, the, the clip sits, stays fixed and the panel moves on a fixed clip. And so what this does is it gives, it gives you unlimited movement with the panel. So I mean, we've got panels out there that are 400 feet long uh, that, uh, uh, you know, eliminate the issue of whether the clip's centered and all that other business, okay? So the panel goes down into the clips and then we have a separate seam cap that we manufacture and the cap has got two beads of sealant in it. And the sealant sits right here on top of the panel rib. So there's no interruption between the panel clip and the sealant like there is with these panels. There's always a place for the roof to leak whenever there's a clip interrupting the sealant with one of these types of panels. But with this panel, there's no interruption of the sealant because the clip never comes in contact with it. And the other thing is, is that the seamer is taking that shape, which is the start, and doing that to it, which is very, very simple, not compared to a double lock seam where the seam gets folded over two times. So you're not gonna have a seamer problem with this thing like you do with that. So panel goes on, the, 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 the caps go on, the seamer runs in both directions, so it'll seam up the roof about five times faster. And then if there's ever any kind of an issue, uh, whether the owner wants to add a curb later, or there's roof damage, or the, 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 the brick layer sprays acid all over your brand new roof, or whatever ends up happening, we have an unseamer that will allow you to get this cap off, and then you can pull 
individual panels and out of the field of the roof. So individual panel replaceability is a is it's just a it's it's the greatest thing ever for a structural standing seam. And and so this is why I only work with this panel. And then the last thing is wind uplift. We're doing open frame structures, uh, and most of these buildings have an existing uh, frame spacing at five foot on center. When you use an individual clip, you're going to be stuck with a frame spacing that's going to probably be, you know, at five foot on center, maybe you can get 50, maybe 60 pounds per square foot allowable, uh, 40 to 60 pounds per square foot allowable, depending on how wide the panel is. Well, that's great, but what if you got a 150 pound you know, requirement in the corner zone or a 90 pound requirement in the edge zone, how are you going to get there? You're going to end up having to add framing. So what we did was we came up with a continuous clip so we can manufacture these parts in whatever length that we want to. Clips hold the panel like this. You hold the panel like that, then you totally change the wind uplift capacity of the roof system. And so basically you triple the wind uplift capacity over what it does with, a north, with an individual clip. So that's why we can stand five foot on center on any job, anywhere. I mean, I've been on one, maybe two jobs since I started making this panel that I couldn't get there at five foot on center. So really, there's no doubt you know, this is the only only panel that I work with now is a symmetrical panel. I don't waste my time with that other stuff. So keep a symmetrical panel in your thoughts when you're thinking recover because it's by far the best and you give the owner the best possible thing. The other thing is, is these panels can be site formed. So we never have an inlap with one of these roof systems. Uh, the panels can be uh, manufactured onto the roof, one piece, no inlaps anywhere. Longest panel yet, 415 feet. So that'll give you something to think about.